Missouri, I'm Leandra Larson. And I'm Meredith Sheldon. Former UF and NFL quarterback Shane Matthews will serve three months for his connection to the fraud scheme. WFT's Ramsey Touchberry joins us now in the newsroom. That's right. Shane Matthews has been cooperating for over a year and negotiated a plea bargain last fall that is now final. It relates to his work and, uh, and with another former Gator, Monty Gro, and Gro's latest business adventure after their playing days. He will throw it back, cross field, coming back to Matthews. Shane at the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! The thought of Shane Matthews heading to prison is a shock to those who know the former Gator football star. This comes as a, first of all, as a, as a shock and a surprise to all of us. Including Matthews' co-anchor of a daily sports radio show on a UF station, ESPN Gainesville. He has been a friend for 30 years. He has, uh, we have done a lot of fun things together. He's more than just a co-host on the radio show. After UF, Shane Matthews' 14-year-long career as an NFL quarterback included stops in Chicago and Washington. Now, he faces a three-month sentence for a part-time job with ex-Gator Monty Gro. Gro's marketing company took $20 million from the government insurance program called TRICARE, which insures military families. Gro was convicted of a scam recruiting patients to insist on very expensive drug formulas and other products from his South Florida compounding pharmacy. Matthews was paid more than $400,000 by Gro in 2015 to recruit additional salesmen. Matthews has now issued a statement. I took the position, which I had no reason to believe was anything other than a legitimate part-time job. I deeply regret getting involved with Mr. Groh's business. I accept full responsibility for my role in this operation. Matthews is still listed as an assistant coach for Gainesville High School, but the school district says his future involvement with the team has not yet been decided. Now, Matthews was sentenced last week on a plea bargain for a single misdemeanor, agreeing to three months in prison and forfeiting nearly $440,000. He has until June to begin serving time. Gro was taken into custody after yesterday's guilty verdicts on multiple federal felony charges. He faces up to 20 years in prison when sentenced in April. Live in the newsroom, Ramsey Touchberry, WUFT News.